Hi everyone, um, got the new camera set up here and I'm keen to see how it does with um, more kind of cool stuff. So I thought a, a quick fly time would be probably a good way to test that out and see how it, how it turns out, how it looks. And since the last time we did a dress fly, it was a, a, a dress Desmond Drury that we did last time, I thought maybe do a, a quick tube fly video. So I've got a three quarter inch brass tube device there that's the hmh tube fly um holder which is a really good bit of kit a very useful thing if you're tying flies or if you're getting into tying flies and you don't have one i would highly recommend you get one of them good good way to, to hold a tube uh and i'm going to do a kind of a a, a gold bodied with a gun variant really um it's not often that i'll tie a fly to any particular pattern or style because that's one of the great things about fly tying i think just having the freedom to, to make stuff up as you go along and get really creative. However, if I am going to do uh, a particular pattern, odds are that it's going to be some form of, of willy gun. It's a great old fly. Um, can't really can't really go wrong with a, a willy gun. So uh, I've got just Kato black thread here. You could use a coloured thread for this if you wanted. Fire orange always looks good, or even a red. But I've got black in the bobbin holder, so I'm just going to work away with that. And get some thread laid down on the tube there. The first thing I'm going to do is tie in the ribbing, which is going to be a gold uh, French oval pencil. Pinch that in underneath. And then come in with our body material, which is going to be holographic gold, or in this case, holographic lemon. I'm not going to be too fussy coming down the first pass down the tube with the thread about making sure it's all touching. Just me being lazy, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to get that all covered up on, on your next pass up anyway. But I'm just Bring it down. Now the thing with the HMH tube fly holder here, as you'll see in a second, is that come down to a certain point, come down to here, where you have this little locking nut and just the tiny little lip on the, the tray that holds the, the tube that juts out a little and it means that you can't get quite as far down as you might sometimes like with your thread and your and your body but it's not i mean it's not really an issue all you all it means is that you just um have to or what i do is put a, a fluorescent hoop tubing on either you know fluorescent orange or pink or green or something like that just add another bit of flash into the fly and another wee kind of hot point so very simple just coming straight back up and just laying a base of thread down for us to form our body onto and then up with our gold pencil so hand over hand nice and tight with this and making sure that all those turns are touching Slightly overlapping. About there. That in with a wee bend and give it three or four turns in tight. Okay, now this is probably the last time in the, in the last video, though the best way I find of, or the safest way I find of trimming away a waste piece of material is to hold between your thumb and your forefinger, and then with your same hand, knock the bobbin holder out of the way with the back of your, your fingers, 
slide the scissors in up from underneath, nice and close, and just nip away. And usually that will avoid any problems. So I'm going to form a wee tag at the end of the, the body with the gold ribbing there. Just three or four turns. And then straight up. And three or four nice open, evenly spaced turns on the ribbing there. Now, the ribbing will protect that tinsel body to an extent. The other way to do this would be probably a better way to do it, in fact, in terms of the, the durability of the fly, would be to not rib it at all and cover the, the tinsel in something, you know, some kind of UV cure and then cure it with a pen, a UV pen. That would be a, a good way of doing it. It would be fairly indestructible. So I'm just doing it the old fashioned way here. So there's our gold body with our gold ribbing. Now it's time to work on our, our hair, start working on our hair. Now, if you're not familiar with, with fly tying or, or you're new to, to salmon fishing or whatever, Willy Gun is made up of a very, very classic combination of three colours there. You've got orange, yellow and black and mixed together. It's just a kind of forms a, a really solid solid base for lots of salmon flies that you know, most salmon flies will kind of incorporate one or more of those colors uh, and mix together they just form a really kind of timeless classic so i'm going to start with the black just because that's nearest me and i'm going to select a fairly small bunch of bucktail here now i like to tie my flies fairly sparse so I'm not going to take too much. I'm going to take a fairly small bunch and then I'm going to dross this out at the back. I'll show you that in a second. So a wee bunch like that. Cut it right down at the, the, the base of the hair. And then I'm going to hold it by the butts just to readjust my grip and then come back in at the tips and hold it real tight. And then with these two fingers at the back here, Start drossing that out and you're going to get rid of all the stuff that's too short to be of any use in that particular fly. And you just keep doing that. And then I'll always moisten it slightly in my mouth and that just holds it together nicely. Then I'll change my grip to the back and and see what needs done at the top. Now there's still a couple of kind of egregious pieces there that are a bit small. You align these up a little bit but I'm not going to be massively fussy. It's the nice bucktail that is fairly even anyway, and that's fine. You could put that in a hair stacker if you wanted. I don't have one, so I'm not going to bother. But that's certainly a, a quick and easy way of, of lining up and, and sorting bucktail. I quite enjoy the process of, of working it with my, with my fingers. So we'll get onto the orange next. Exactly the same thing. Take out those kind of shorter pieces from the back. And then just line them up slightly. Okay. Again, I'm not going to be drastically fussy. You could, you could do this for ages until you get it. As perfectly lined up as you possibly can, but I usually get some proximity of where I want it to be, and then just let it lie because I I don't mind a a slightly untidy look about a fly. And then yellow, same again, just another whole bunch. Of that. It's not very even at that particular bit, so I'm just gonna come back and see if I can find a nicer piece. There we go, a little bit more stuff to work with in there. And same again. Just dressing it down. And that's for me that's okay. That's not bad. Say I don't feel the need to get it a hundred percent even. So we've got our 
red, or not red, or orange, yellow, and black there. I'm just going to trim the bulk pieces all to the same length. But that's basically the, the colour combination of the Willy Gun. Now, what I'm going to do with that is just give it a slight mix up in my fingers. I'm just going to run my thumbnail through it, and just to kind of tease all the fibres together and roll them into each other a little bit. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm also going to then roll these fibres around the hook. So you're going to get a, a mixture of sorts and it will be fine, however it comes out. That's mixed a wee bit there. And now I'm going to pass out my length. And I like a fairly long wing, so that's about right for me, I would think. And then come in at the head with a pinch and a loop. Pinch the thread between your thumb and forefinger. Slowly draw it down onto the buck. And then come over with two or three other turns. Now I'm not going to make those turns that tight because what I'm now going to do is I'm going to just manipulate verse around the tube. And just spread them out. Now you can alternatively to doing this you can just tie in little bunches around the tube and sometimes what you'll do because you won't get this perfect you'll end up with little baldy gaps and that to be honest that doesn't bother me at all i like a sparsely dressed fly anyway but um if you do want to thicken any patches up you can just kind of trim yourself up another few bits of bucktail and just and just thatch them in That's a, reasonable spread. So what I'm going to do now is just hold that in tight back here and then tighten the thread turns up and tie them in nice and tight but being careful not to be so tight that you're going to break your thread which is easily done. Okay now what I would normally have done actually before I got to that point, but I'll confess that I actually totally forgot about was um I would have I would usually have tied in some under flash on that. Because I like a lot of flash in my flies. Um that, you know it's something that yeah, it's kind of divides opinion. Some people like flash in their flies, other people like plain flies. I personally like a lot of flash and a lot of movement. That's just my preference. But normally I would have put a couple of strands in under that but it'll be fine I'll, I'll just put some in on the top and it'll be fine so I'm just working my way around here just trimming out the butt ends of the buck getting in as close as I can without cutting the thread and this is where the value of a very sharp pair of fly tying scissors really comes into their own okay, I'm just going to neaten that head section up a little bit Come down, cover those butt ends, and then come back up to the back, and we'll tie in our flash. Now, as far as flash goes, completely up to you whether you put it in or don't put it in at all. And if you do put it in, completely up to you what colours you put in. And I'll probably put in a couple of strands of gold just because it's a gold bodied Willy Gun, that kind of makes sense. So, I'll put in a couple of strands of gold crystal flash. them in along the top with the strands of flash being you know the same length as your bucktail fibers a couple of them in the top and since i've got it sitting here i'll actually put in a couple of strands of pink as well i do like a little flash of pink in my flies again that's just bog standard pink crystal flash and put a couple of them on the bottom Again, same length as your fibers, your your bucktail fibers. And I'll finish it off by putting in a couple of strands of flat mosaic stuff on the sides. It. 
entirely personal whether you put flash on your flies or not I know some people that really don't like flashing their flies and that's fine I, uh, I do like a lot of flash in the flies I like them to light up in the water and if you tie them sparse in terms of your 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 hair material I find you can you can get away with using a fair bit of flash Okay, let's trim them up. Nice and tight. And then we'll form our head. So I'm just going to come back down over all that bit that we've just done. And I'm just covering everything up and making a nice solid small head and then it's just time for what finish now as I said in the last video I did what would really undoubtedly finish this fly off in terms of what you know what we see would be um a couple of bucktail uh, a couple of jungle cock cheeks and they really do look good but I, I don't have any um jungle cock left just now I've just got kind of big feathers and tiny feathers so nothing of the, the size I would want to put on this and I, I don't think it makes any difference to how many fish that the fly catches. I think it's just something that, that looks nice to us. The fly without jungle cock in it will be just as deadly. So I'm just going to come in and whip finish here. I always do that with my fingers because I find the um the whip finishing tools actually quite tricky to use. Another one in there, so I'm going to start one out a wee bit early. There we go. Make sure that's all nice and tight. And then slide in the scissors and trim off that waste piece. Okay, and there we have a gold bodied willy gun now the thing with with a willy gun or any fly that you're mixing kind of two or three colors obviously you can quite dramatically change the appearance of the fly by how much of any one color you you include or exclude and i didn't do that to any particular ratio that was just kind of what what came to, to hand when i was trimming the, the bucktail out so we'll give that a varnish up if i can find a needle that doesn't have a fly drying on it up here And for this, I'm just using bog standard vineyards clear varnish. And what I usually do is actually varnish flies in my hand. I find it easier to do that than on the vice. And when you take that out of the vice, you can kind of stroke those hair fibers back, and it gives you a better a better kind of view of what your finished product like. So I'm just gonna. Hold it like that then, keeping everything out of the way. And then I'm going to a bit of varnish on the end of the needle here like this. And then just bracing my fingers together, I'm going to come in and varnish the head of the fly. And say that's just the way that I find easier to do it personally. Bit more always just using a little bit of varnish at a time you don't want to end up putting a great big splodge on and having it all run into your into your dressing and your your feather fibers or your hair fibers where it'll cause problems and just using the tip of the needle to Gently tease that in and make sure that I get it all covered up without running into the into the hair fibers. Okay, so that looks all nice and shiny just now. 
but that first coat of varnish is going to really um, soak in there in a few minutes. It won't look shiny at all. The way I find best to dry tube fly is I take the, the needle, the eye end of the needle, and I just, just get into the, the front of the tube like that. And then what I do, take my little foam block here and just stick the needle in. And as you can see, the flies can all sit in there and dry quite the thing. So that is a variant. That's the way I personally like to tie a, a gold bodied willy gun. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.